hey, this is Andy Brown. We're talking about DynamoDB and DocumentDB. These are two very similar databases that can be used for Gen AI. And while they're both technically uh, key values and document databases, they, uh, they can only serve certain purposes when we're talking about generative AI. So DynamoDB is a key value store. Um, it technically is a document database as well, but I think of it more as a key value because the functionality is very simple and straightforward, but it can scale really well, but it cannot be used for vector search because it does not have any means to um, query that way. However, you can still use it within your rags. So this could be coded to, uh, like a rag could be coded to generate out a DynamoDB query. Just understand rags can be used with any database as long as you code in that support or there's a framework for it. DynamoDB could be used uh, to store chat history. So session management would be a very useful case for DynamoDB when we're talking about Gen AI. Uh, DocumentDB is a MongoDB compatible database. It supports vector search. And I, re I think the reason why I can do that is because DocumentDB is a heavily modified version of Postgres. AWS has told us that it's Postgres, but we don't know the full details of the architecture as they've done heavy, heavy, heavy modifications to Postgres, like basically cut the, the head off of it and reworked it completely. So it might be using PG Vector underneath. Um, it may not have the same scaling issues that Postgres with PG Vector would have it because this is so heavily modified, but um, you know, there is that there, okay?